Moving along now, happening earlier this week, Sherry Vinton was confirmed by the Nebraska Legislature to serve as the director of the Nebraska Department of Agriculture. Vinton, a fifth generation rancher from the Sandhills, is the first woman to lead the agency. We were fortunate enough to have her join us here in the studio earlier this week to discuss her background as well as her vision for the Nebraska Department of Agriculture. Today we are catching up with a new director of the Nebraska Department of Agriculture. Her name is Sherry Vinton. She joins us here in the studio. Thanks for making the time. We appreciate it. Well, thank you very much for inviting me, Bryce. I love Market Journal. We are excited to learn more about you. If we go back to the beginning of your ag roots, I understand your family had an implement dealership in North Platte, right? That's absolutely correct. I grew up in Buffalo Bill's hometown and my dad had an implement dealership on Rodeo Road. And I grew up riding to school in a Frank's Farm Equipment pickup <laughs> and listening to KRVN. So, and then after college, I ended up moving to the heart of the Sand Hills. And we lived near Cody Lake, which would have been Buffalo Bill's summer camp. And we brand a Buffalo Head. So it's kind of come full circle. Spent a lot of years in the cattle business, I understand. What do you enjoy about, well, one cattle and then broadly the agriculture industry? Oh, I love farmers and ranchers. They're the best people in the world. You know, modern production agriculture is truly a modern miracle. So it's the people that I love most. And as far as ranching goes, you can't beat the sand hills and there's nothing prettier than a fat black cow on green grass, <laughs> so. I understand you've, you've served in a number of different leadership capacities, one of the most recent ones with the Nebraska Farm Bureau. What called you to leadership positions within the various ag organizations you've served within? Well, truly, after my children were older and I had a little more time and was able to be away from the ranch, as we all know, agriculture has been under threat. There are people that don't understand modern production agriculture and we've been under attack. And so I felt it was important to tell the story from our, per our perspective, the true story and interface of modern production agriculture. And I started doing this before it was a thing. Was the idea of becoming the Nebraska, the head of the Nebraska Department of Agriculture one you've been considering for a while, or how did that all come about? I'd never considered it. It was a complete surprise, but a total honor and a privilege to serve the people, all citizens of Nebraska, and especially the farmers and ranchers. And I truly believe in the governor's mission. Well, every time we talk with someone from the Nebraska Department of Agriculture, we learn more about the vast role that uh, <laughs> the department plays uh, in the states and around the world. But what have you learned, I guess, over the past month uh, of getting in, into this role? What have you learned about the department that perhaps surprised you? Well, you know, to frame that a little bit, our department is comprised of three main areas. You know, ag promotion and development, which most people think of. And then, of course, there's animal and plant health protection, which people are aware of. But there's also food safety and consumer protection. And that might be the area, especially in rural areas, that we think less about because we don't have a lot of restaurants that are getting tested by the food inspector. But that's one of the areas that I've learned a lot about, that, that we have food sanitarians that are keeping us safe, that are testing and inspecting restaurants and testing foods. Well, as we begin to wrap up our time here today, I'm sure we'll get a catch up over the next few years and looking forward to that. But what, what are you most excited about uh, in this role? Oh, that's super easy. I'm most excited about promoting our egg products and as a rancher, especially beef, but of course, corn and ethanol and all that goes with that. And the other thing is, is I'm excited about promoting agriculture to our kids because that's how we're going to keep them here. One in every four jobs in the state is tied directly back to agriculture in some capacity or another. So I'd, just to I'd like to highlight that our Nebraska Ag Youth Institute, those applications are due April 15th, and you can find those on our website. And we also have a poster contest for kids in grades one through six, and those are due March 1st, and that's on our website as well. So always a lot of things happening at the department. So we appreciate you highlighting those two events and all that's to come. Congratulations then as well on the new position as uh, the head of the Department of Agriculture. Thank you, Bryce.